Welcome to Demystifying Math. In this lesson, we're going to be simplifying logarithmic expressions. It can be difficult if you're using a scientific calculator to simplify a complex log expression. To avoid making entry errors, we're going to simplify the expression using the properties of logs. Some of the properties that we're going to be using are the power property, which says that if you have a constant times the natural log of a number, you can rewrite it as the natural log of that number to the power of the constant. Or a natural log b equals the natural log of b to the power of a. We could actually do this in any base, not just base e. So it could be the common log or log base 2 or any base. The product property tells us that if we have the sum of logs, we can rewrite it as a log of their products. And the quotient property tells us that if we have the difference of logs, we can rewrite that as a log of the quotient. The change of base theorem will help us to rewrite in a base that our calculator has. So most scientific calculators have base 10, which is the natural log, our common log, and natural log, which is base e. So if you have something, for instance, that's in log base a, such as log base a of b, you can rewrite that as log base 10 of b over log base 10 of a, or log b over log a. Or you can do the natural log of b over the natural log of a. Let's start with this problem. We have 2 natural log of 3 divided by the natural log of 10 minus natural log of 2. The first thing that we're going to do is rewrite our numerator using the power property. So the 2 becomes the exponent of 3. So we have the natural log of 3 squared. And in the denominator, we're going to use the quotient property to rewrite it as the natural log of 10 divided by 2. Then we're just going to simplify this. So that gives us the natural log of 9 over the natural log of 5. And from there, we can just put it into our scientific calculator. So let's do this problem. We have the natural log of 9. And don't forget to close that parenthesis, divided by the natural log of 5. And again, close your parenthesis. And hit Enter, and you get your approximation. All right, let's try our next one. We have 2 log 4 plus log 5 over log 8 plus 4 log 6. So again, we're going to use the power property to rewrite some of the terms. So the first term was 2 log 4. We're going to rewrite that as log of 4 to the second. And in the denominator, the second term was 4 log 6. So we're rewriting that as log of 6 to the fourth. So 6 to the fourth is 1296. And in the numerator, the 4 squared we rewrote as 16. Now we're using the product property to rewrite the numerator and denominator. Since they're both addition problems, we're going to rewrite them as products so we have log of 16 times 5 over log of 8 times 1296. So that simplifies the log of 80 over the log of 10,368. And that's something that we can just put into our calculator pretty easily. So we're just going to evaluate that. In this case, we're using the common log. So log of 80. Again, close that parenthesis. Divided by log of 10,368. And you get about 0.474. So you can get your estimate from your calculator. Okay, let's try our next one. We have 1 half times the quotient of the log of 3 minus 2 log 6 over 3 log 2 minus 2 log 4. So we're going to use our power property and rewrite um, it in terms of um, base 10. So we have log of 3. The 2 log 6 becomes log of 6 squared, which is 36. The 3 log 2 becomes log of 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. And the 2 log 4 becomes log 4 to the second, which is log of 16. Now we're going to use our quotient property to combine our numerator and denominator. So that gives us log of 3 over 36 and the denominator log of 8 over 16. And I just want to simplify those fractions. So that means I have log of 1 12th over log of 1 half. 
Now, I'm going to um, rewrite this 1 12th and 1 half as 12 to the negative 1 and 2 to the negative 1. Then I'm going to use my power property in reverse to bring the negative 1's in front of the logs. This way those negatives are going to cancel out. And notice I also um, multiply the 1 by the numerator and the 2 by the denominator. So I have log 12 over 2 log 2 now. Again, I'm going to use my power property since I have 2 log 2. I have log of 2 squared, which is log 4. And now I can put that into my calculator easily. So I have log of 12 divided by the log of 4. And that gives me around 1.792. Okay, for our next problem we have in base 2. So we have log base 2 is 6 over log base 2 is 7. So I don't have log base 2 on my calculator, so I'm just going to rewrite that using the change of base theorem. So that gives me log 6 over log 2 in base 10. And in the denominator in base 10 I have log 7 over log 2. Now I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal. So I have the log 2's now will cancel out, so that just gives me log 6 over log 7. And again, that would be a calculator problem. So we have log 6 divided by log 7. And we get about 0.92. Now, remember at the beginning we said we could have changed the base to any base we wanted to. So we could do also natural log. So we could do natural log of 6 divided by the natural log of 7. And you get the same answer. So your ratio will always be the same. You know, be consistent and change them both to the same base. Okay, our next one is in base 3, so we have log base 3 of 8 minus 4 log base 3 of 2 over log base 3 of 7. So I'm going to take care of the exponent that's in front of log base 3 of 2, so I'm going to have 2 to the 4th, which is 16. And then I'm going to use the quotient property to rewrite the numerator. So that gives me 8 over 16, log base 3 of that, which reduces to log base 3 of 1 half. Now I'm going to use the change of base theorem to rewrite this, and this time I'm going to put it in log base e. So you have the natural log of 1 half over the natural log of 3, and the denominator of natural log of 7 over natural log of 3. And again, multiplying by the reciprocal, the natural log of 3's are going to cancel out. So we're left with the natural log of 1 half over the natural log of 7. Now I did like I did in the other problem, and I rewrote the 1 half as 2 to the negative 1 and then brought that exponent of negative 1 in front of the log 2. And now you can put that into your calculator. So I have the negative of log 2. And this is natural log. And I'm going to divide by the natural log of 7. And that gave me um, negative 0.356, which is what we have as our ratio there. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for tuning in to Demystifying Math.